Hi, this is Bonnie with Knots and Needles, and today I thought maybe I would make a couple of uh, snowflake Christmas ornaments, maybe inspire someone to, to try it. So I've cut my cords. They're between 14 and 20 inches long. Um, you're going to want a total of 12 cords, and one of them will be the one that you string across your macrame board, and then you'll just mount the rest of them on that cord like I've shown in the past in my um, basic macrame videos that I posted previously. So you're going to want to get all of those cords mounted on one of them and uh, once you do that you're going to pull it off your board and we're going to tie it into a circle. So let me get it off the board here and I'm going to swing it around and tie it in a knot. Okay, so just a regular basic knot until the two sides meet. Pull it around to a complete circle. <clears throat> And then you're going to want to use some pins and kind of pin it in place. So now we'll tie the second part of the knot so it's nice and secure. And we're going to take those two cords and the next two cords so we have a group of four. And we're going to start out with um, a square knot, which um, I have shown you how to do a square knot in previous videos, basic macrame videos. So I'm going to grab my first four cords and go ahead and start with a square knot. You remember the technique, right? We'll start with that. First half of the knot, second half, one of four over the top, come over and under and back through on the other side and that completes one square knot. Now I'm working with a uh, cotton crochet yarn so that's pretty good size yarn <clears throat> and I'm going to do this uh, square knot all the way around with each group of four cords. Once I've done that, I'm going to go around a second time and again grab two cords from each previous square knot and then do another group of uh, square knots all the way around. So here's my second one as I'm working my way around for the second time. And I'm leaving my uh, square knot a little bit loose on the first half so that you have those little openings. Second half of the square knot. And you can see the effect that I'm getting. And I want to work my way around again. I get my groups of four, four cords. Okay, so now I've worked my way around and uh, finished off with uh, my square knots. Again, <clears throat> we've got groups of fours, and you can either grab, the thing with this is you can do pretty much whatever you want. As long as you have four cords, you can work straight out and continue in square knots or add a twist knot or a reverse knot, um, any of the knots that I've shown you. You can either grab two cords from each square knot or, or stay with the same four which would give you a spikier effect to your snowflake. So and figure out which, what you want to do and how you want your snowflake to look. So this is what mine looks like so far. And um, 
I'm kind of liking the way it's looking, but um, I think I'm going to. Uh, now I did um, a square knot with, um, you know, dropping it down and creating the uh, little butterfly effect. You can see on the first one um, to the left of my hand there. Now I'm working on the next one. <clears throat> and I'm a little out of the camera, but you know what I'm doing. You know how to do a square knot. So we drop it down a little bit, and then we're going to push it up to create the uh, little wing or butterfly effect. So now I'll finish off my square knot. And then I will do that all the way around so that I have um, that butterfly effect all the way around. So this is the second half of my square knot. That's all I'm doing over there, just off the camera, sorry. My camera was actually in my way during this part of it, so I had to kind of work from the side. But you're really not missing anything because you've seen me tie a square knot many times if you've been watching my macrame videos. Okay, so I'll do that all the way around. And this is what it looks like after I've done it all the way around. And it's looking pretty good, but I think I probably maybe want to add another, just a regular square knot or two to finish it off. And, uh, and then I'm just going to probably clip off the ends right about there. And so let's finish it off with our, with our square knots. Or you can keep on going and do maybe a reverse knot or even another butterfly knot if you want. But I decided to just do a couple more square knots. And again, I'm working up <clears throat> in the right hand corner just off camera view. But again, it's just a basic square knot. So you just have to bear with me that I I'm not showing you exactly how to do a square knot because we've already been over that. You just have to wait for me to get this one tied. So in the meantime, any supplies that you need for this craft or any other uh, craft that you may be working on, you can visit our Amazon store link that's in our video description. Okay, so this is where we're at now after I've done my square knots all the way around and have decided to clip off the ends. And so you can clip them off at whatever length you like the, the looks. Um, you can leave the middle ones a little bit longer and cut the side ones a little bit shorter. You can leave all of them a little bit longer. Um, it just all depends on what kind of a look you want. Also, in making the snowflake, you don't have to follow the exact same knots that I did in the exact same order. Um, it's just a matter of working <clears throat> the same knot around and around till you get what you like. Okay, this is after it's done. I've laid it on a piece of um, wax paper. I got my ends all cut off, and I'm going to spray it with some stiffener um, and then let it dry. So uh, give it a pretty good coating of stiffener on both sides. You want to spray it really good on one side and then you're going to want to flip it over and spray the other side. Make sure that you got it pretty good. Um, since it's a cotton yarn, it's not going to get super, super uh, stiff, but it is going to get stable enough that you can uh, run another piece of yarn or string through it. You can do that using by a needle or just put it through one of the one of the openings in the snowflake to hang it on your tree or you can hang it on your in your window. Um, you can make several of these and create um, a garland. Um, I just really like them. I think they're really cute. So spray it and then let it dry. I let mine dry overnight but um, you may be able to get away with just doing it in the morning and having it dry later in the day. Or you can speed it up with a hair dryer.
or something like that. And there's our snowflake. Now, I did another fun little thing. I took a crochet thread like you would use on a doily and started out the same way with to make a snowflake. Did my square knots to start off with and then you can branch off from there however you want. I'm going to keep this kind of a closed pattern and I'm not going to extend it out as far. Um, you can see that I've got a hole in the middle. I've got a plan for that. So we're going to go ahead and take two of our threads from each square knot. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, doing my square knots to connect things. I'm working my way around. So square knots again. So you can make a lot of things with just knowing a few of the macrame knots. You know, they make um, bracelets and necklaces and placemats and wall hangings and all sorts of things. So it's a pretty fun craft and it's fairly simple. So there's the beginning of my square knot to get started. And then I've worked around square knots um, a couple of times. And this is what I've got so far with my hole in the middle. And I've left my tails quite long. Um, I don't know, they're probably maybe seven inches long. I'm not real sure, but they're pretty good length. And then I took and put that over the little uh, top part of a Christmas ball, and this is what I got, along with our uh, snowflake. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and happy holidays from us to you.